With a potential government shutdown looming, former President Donald Trump and House Speaker Mike Johnson met here in Washington last night. On Wednesday, the House failed to pass a $1.6 trillion stopgap spending bill that would have kept the government funded into March. A push by Republicans backed by Trump to impose new proof of citizenship requirements on voter registration blocked that effort. And joining me now is Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna from the state of California. Congressman Khanna, thank you for being here. The government, you know well, runs out of money on September 30th. What is happening on the Hill right now? Does Speaker Johnson have a plan B to avoid a shutdown? Peter, the Democrats have been for funding this past the election. I think Speaker Johnson finally is seeing that that's what we need to do. And what I understand is they're going to propose something to keep government open at least through uh, December 20th. Let's get through the election and then we're going to have a clear sense of which way the country wants to go and fund government until then. Well, speaking of Capitol Hill, let me ask you about what the House just did, voting unanimously in favor of increasing security for presidential candidates. This was 400 and something to nothing, this vote. You don't hear that very often. Providing those candidates the same level of protection as the sitting president. You wrote in a Washington Post op-ed this week that increasing security for former President Trump, in your words, should be a bipartisan effort and a no-brainer. What do you want to hear from the acting Secret Service director when he speaks in the next hour or so? Well, I'm glad we voted unanimously to make sure that President Trump and Vice President Harris have the same protection uh, as President Biden. I want to make sure that the Secret Service has the manpower to protect the expanded perimeter that's required to keep them safe. And I want to understand what the security breaches were. How did someone with a rifle get so close to the president uh, a second time? Uh, why did that person happen to know the president's schedule? There are a lot of unanswered questions uh, that the American people deserve uh, answers to. Let me ask you about something earlier this week where Elon Musk wrote on X a post that has since been deleted. He referred to President Biden and Vice President Harris not having been targets of assassination attempts. He questioned perhaps why that was the case. The Secret Service said they were aware of the post. What is your reaction to that? Well, obviously, he shouldn't have posted it. And we have to be very, very careful uh, at a time where there's increased violence, increased threats, uh, to not uh, inflame that kind of conversation. And uh, whether that someone is being sarcastic or not, there's no room for that uh, on these platforms when it comes to violence. And I, uh, I'm glad Elon Musk took that post down. Congressman Khanna, have you heard you're a surrogate for the campaign? I've heard from some reporting that some surrogates have expressed new concern about their own safety when they travel on behalf of either campaign, I suspect, but specifically as it relates to the Harris Wall campaign, we had heard from some. Have you heard such a thing? Are surrogates, others who go on behalf of these candidates, do they feel comfortable maintaining their schedules? Well, fortunately, I've been out there around the country and I have not had any personal uh, concerns. I still think the vast, vast majority of Americans are uh, good people, uh, even people uh, who are Trump supporters often are yeah. uh, peaceful protesters. So I haven't had that, but I am confident that the campaign is taking security very, very seriously at these events. Yeah, obviously a priority. Let me ask you, you've been pushing for a tougher policy, specifically to the topic of Israel, more conditions on aid for Israel. Kamala Harris, the vice president, has not definitively said where she stands on that specific issue beyond, of course, saying she supports Israel's right to defend itself. Do you believe that she will take a different approach than Joe Biden if elected? I think she's going to enforce U.S. law. We have the U Leahy law. We have the United uh, States Export Control Act. And that requires that any aid we give not be used to, to violate human rights. But based on your earlier reporting, the most important thing right now is to avoid a regional war. I mean, the uh, Hezbollah leader that was uh, uh, killed, he was obviously a terrible person who committed atrocities against uh, Americans in the 1980s. But the question is, do we really want an escalation right now uh, of a war in the Middle East? And certainly we don't want the United States getting dragged into any conflict. And so our priority needs to be a de-escalation there and keeping the United States out of another Middle East war. Congressman Rokana joining us from the Hill. Congressman, nice to see you. We appreciate your time. Thank you.